everyone. Welcome to another Classic Movie Monday, and today I'm going to be diving into a film that uh, stars none other than Tom Cruise, uh, and is probably one of his more famous roles, and one that I think has given him at least a significant amount of recognition, um, and also a film that uh, did pretty well, uh, both I think critically and by audiences alike, and uh, it seems to, I think, reflect onto things that are sort of interesting and uh, unique and also provide a sense of perspective, at least when it comes to sort of the um, individual struggle of having to come out of something. Uh, and that film, as you can probably see by the title and thumbnail, is Jerry Maguire. Um, what I think really works about this particular film is the fact that it is, again, fairly down to earth and uh, tries to kind of put yourself in the mindset of the main character, Jerry Maguire, who is an agent for uh, a sports uh, company. I think they're Sports Management International, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and Basically, um, he's unfortunately fired from his position there, and he sort of has to end up building up his life from scrap again, and that's pretty much the focus of this film, of trying to get Jerry back sort of on his feet again, and in doing so, you see Jerry trying to do whatever means necessary to sort of... Um, kind of build himself up and sort of create his own uh, kind of uh, identity. Um, and you sort of see the relationships that he ends up developing as a result of this. And you sort of see how he kind of develops out of his older habits. Um, because you'll sort of see within the beginning of the film, he's like very kind of... Um, over, I guess I would almost say he has that overconfidence within himself. Um, and, you know, he kind of has some bad streaks uh, within his life as well. So you sort of see him try to kind of um, at least create a new kind of path, at least, uh, within his life that he sort of eventually ends up taking. And a lot of it is due to the result of him having to... Um, kind of go back to the drawing board since his uh, career, at least, was really uh, taken away from him. And oftentimes, at least within a lot of films that I, at least I've come to know, I rarely do see these kinds of films where you see someone kind of going back from being in such a high and uh, prestigious position into being pushed down onto the level that Jerry is is sort of put in as a result of him not being able to uh, have that once prestigious position that he initially had. And I think that's a very interesting perspective. I mean, I think it gives light onto, you know, how we would handle um, having that kind of level of uh, rejection and you know, having kind of no recourse and in doing so, uh, having to start over and sort of in doing so kind of create a new life. Um, and here you really do see that ultimate progression. And I think for uh, films like this, it really does work well, um, considering the fact that I think a lot of this can really appeal to people who are uh, put into sort of a position of of huge responsibility and having to lose that and sort of pick up uh, from a place where they initially weren't. So I think that's really uh, interesting, and again, it's something that rarely, at least, films try to really do nowadays. It seems like a lot of, again, a lot of films now really do focus in on the spectacle aspect of trying to create new worlds, and, you know, it's, it's very immersive, um, and it's not so much trying to play with things that are 
more within the realms of reality. Uh, and here you sort of see that kind of really being uh, expressed and uh, put to the forefront. Are there cheesy moments within this film? Oh, yes. <laughs> and are there moments where it is a little bit wacky and goofy and um, not as uh, maybe serious? Yeah, I, I understand that. And I can understand the complaints, um, especially with the one scene that a lot of people like to um, poke fun at, I guess, with this movie about the... Uh, about jerry going up to one of the characters and sort of saying you complete me and you know just being really over the top cheesy um and you know just kind of uh going a little bit overboard um i, I can understand that being sort of kind of part of this film and that may or may not rub people the right or wrong way but i, I don't think it's that excessive. Uh, I, I don't feel like it's trying to overpower you with that uh, energy. I think it just kind of ends up sort of being there, only considering the fact of the fact that there's just all these very, uh, there's just a variety of different circumstances that end up happening that sort of kind of um, make Jerry sort of un un under sort of stress and, you know, uh, a little bit uneasy and a little bit, a little bit wacky, um, especially with also that other scene that, that's really famous where um, one of the characters tells uh, Jerry, show me the money. Uh, and they have this whole kind of uh, back and forth. And uh, it, it's just one of those things where, you know, you wrote, again, it's not something you really do see a lot, at least within films nowadays. They really do try to take away any elements of trying to be a little bit cheesy but here I think it actually does work I mean I don't think it's as uh horrible as some other films that at least that came out roughly during this time at least when Tom Cruise was becoming popular I mean I, I think there's a lot of other films that don't really know how to really uh handle the cheese um but I think here it's it's done I think appropriately and I don't think it's done over excessively uh, but I could understand that some of that might rub people a certain way or it might not be as appealing uh, as a result but again I don't think it's that big of an issue however I think that's really all I can say about this film is not really giving too much away I mean I think it is an important film to note uh, when you're looking at Tom Cruise's career and when you're looking uh, at films that do try to focus in on trying to be a lot more down to earth um, and uh, I think is one that a lot of people remember so uh, if you are interested in checking it out I would recommend it but I think that's really ultimately all I can say for this particular film but thank you so much for watching I hope you all have a pleasant day week month and year and I hope to see you all in the next video take care bye bye